hello friends today in this tutorial i will be building an image upload application in node.js using formidable library so this is a short demo of this application this is a choose file button here if i click it i will be choosing a file here image file so if i upload it so it will upload it inside my uploads directory which is present inside my root directory of my project so you can see that this image has been uploaded let me just show you this is the uploads directory if i open this this is the image you can see that i can also choose multiple images at one time look let's suppose i choose these two images and open so you, you will see that two files are there if i upload it so two files will be uploaded if i show you you can see that these two images so this is a library formidable if you go to node package manager if you type it formidable you will be redirected to this package so this is a very popular library you can see that how many downloads are there so in order to make this project first of all i will be stopping this project by control c and i will be making a new project and mind you all the source code of this project is given in the video description so this this is a github repository here you can just download all the source code so let's get started by building building this project from scratch so i will be declaring a new folder inside my desktop and i will be naming this as uh, formidable image upload you can name it anything of your choice and after that i will be opening this inside my command line and first of all we will be executing npm init dash y so this will create the package dot json file with the default options now we just need to install the express library which will be our server and the this library formidable that is f o r m i d a b l formidable and also we will be installing node mon so this will restart our server when we make any kind of changes so these are the three dependencies which are needed for this project so just wait it will install these dependencies and after that we will be opening this project inside visual studio code So just wait it is uh, installing here so you can see that it has successfully installed these libraries now i will be opening this inside visual studio by executing code dash so this will open the visual studio here and now you will notice that it will have created a package.json file which contains the information about the project name of the project description all that stuff and these are the dependencies and now in order to configure nodemon we just need to make a simple change here in the start script so just rename it to start here and here we will just write here uh, nodemon index.js so this is the starting point of our project and uh, after that one sec uh, this step is very much necessary just create a uploads directory here we will be uploading all our images just make this directory of uploads and now we will be creating our uh, index.js file so this will be the starting point of our project here so just create uh, index.js in the root directory not in the uploads directory so this is the index.js so first of all we just need to import the express library and let me just make a simple express app by instantiating a new instance of express and then app.listen so here we just need to provide the port number and this takes a callback function and here we can just write on the console that the app is running on port 5000 and now in order to start this app just go to the command line and execute this command npm start so this will start the node mod server and you will see a message on the console that the app has started on port 5000 
so you can see that app is running on port 5000 so the express app is ready now we just need to import our formidable dependency require formidable and after that we just need to make a simple get request on the home route so when we open the home page that is slash here so this takes a callback request response and here we just need to send a simple file by this send file function so we will create this file which is index.html so basically this is a html file that we need to create inside our directory index.html so here i will just write tab and so just uh, change the title to node file upload example and inside the body we will be having a simple form tag so the action will be going to the home route again and the method this time will be post and inside this form we will be having an input field type will be of file and let me also give a name attribute of upload and also we will be giving an encoding type sorry to the form element so here we will write encoding time to multi-part form data so this is very much necessary if you are uploading any kind of files here you need to give this tag and inside this in order to allow multiple uploads at the same time you need to give this tag of multiple and after that we will be also be having a submit button input type submit and the value will be upload so when the user click the button so it, this will make a post request on the home route now just go to the index.js and here we will write a post request app.post and we are making on the home route so slash here so this again takes a callback function request response so now we will be making a new instance of this formidable library by new formidable and inside this this contains a function which is uh, incoming form so basically it will capture this form which we have declared in the index.html by this live by this method incoming form and it will store this reference inside this form variable and now inside this this we first of all need to execute this function form.parse and pass this request here and after that there are some events available on this form variable that we can pass here first event is that when uh, whenever the file upload process begins we can pass this event that is file begin and inside this this takes a callback function this contains the name of the uploaded file and the actual file and then we can file dot path there is a property here we can uh, get the file path by using dir name and then we can concatenate the address where we want to store the file so this will be stored inside the uploads directory so slash uploads and then in order to get the name of the file we can just write here file.name so this will get the name of the file which whichever file we are uploading so this will make this path here and similarly there are more events out there so whenever there is a file uh, which is selected by the user this is stored inside this event file now in order to console console log in order to print information about this file in, in the console we can just write a function here callback function so this will contain again name and file and here we can just write uh, console log that uh, uploaded file comma and then we can just concatenate uh, file dot name so this will be consoling logging the name of the file in the console so whenever we upload the file so you can just read the documentation there are very much more events available and one last event we will write here form dot on 
inside this we will pass here oh at last there are no events we just need to uh, send the file uh, the same file which we have to that is index.html so we just need to write here slash index.html that's it so after successful upload we can just print out a message or we can just send the file so now if I run this application if I first of all check if any kind of error take place no error is there so you can see that and now if I refresh it Oh, sorry we are running this app on port 5000 so let me just change the address so localhost 5000 so this is a choose file button now if I choose this file of uh, you can see that the jpg file if I upload it and now check the directory in the uploads directory you will see that this image has been uploaded in the in this directory and now if I check it in the uploads directory this image is there and now if I let's suppose if I delete this and now if in order to upload multiple images at the same time if I choose file here and select these two images at the same time two files upload and now if I check two files are there two images are there you can see that and you can just send out a custom message to the user instead of sending this file by just writing response.send files upload it and now what you will see a message not this file if I choose a file here you will see that files uploaded so in this manner you can have a message here so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button and also share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video until then thank you very much